Thank you everyone for joining this section. I think this section is embedded code, design services, and so also the uh, innovative uh, platform and technologies. Before we start this section, I think I want to stress like the basic goal of our uh, embedded algorithm basic unit is to make sure make sure you are going to success in product development. I think just like our MPC say, we are a team to make a dirty job. But we can make it more efficiency, well measurement to deal with the second vendors, past vendors. Okay. So before we start the session officially, I think I still want to stress that like for the bow level business, we have all the form features. In case you want to uh, have a urgent uh, have a system to 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 make a system in for urgent inquiry, maybe just in one month, I think the, the motherboard is definitely the first choice. Because with capturing with chassis, I believe we can, can make a system within one month. In case you have some uh, IP, need to put in the FPGA to design with your uh, capable and also ASIC, I think computer module can give you all the options for CPU performance. Single board computer for small size, and also rocket application, and with easy I/O expansions, and for ARM. Recently, the ARM processor is very getting popular because they improve a lot of about the performance and also the price is reset, remain a, a good three points. So, when we are already in the market more than 30 years, we have a commitment to fulfill the demand from the market. So, we will keep continually invest on the platform innovations. So I introduce uh, our PA Irene. She is working with uh, uh, PSMG, our partners, even competitors, to dis discuss about the all the IoT technology and the future technology. So please share with something about the uh, Calm HPC, the server grade computer module. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Irene. It's my pleasure to share with you the trends that computer R module is going to be. In the beginning, let's look at the research report. According to the IDC report, there will be 130 zettabyte data need to be processed on the edge after five years later. It's a huge data volume and already bring tremendous edge computing demand. In order to cope with the heavy performance requirement, we have launched a series of server grade embedded board to satisfy the performance demand. Let's see what's new we have. The AMB 5A6 it's a server grade industrial motherboard. It supports excellent computing and graphic performance. A lot of high speed I.O. connectivity. With the dual source power input, provides a flexible and ready to use solution. We also have SOM5962. It is a Server grade comes press top seven basic module. It supports 16 core processor and 128 gigabyte memory. Integrated four port 10 gigabit Ethernet controller. With the wide range power input and extended operating temperature, make it more reliable and compatible to many system designs. Our innovation will never end. We got many customers inquiring about more computing performance and more memory capacity. So we are going to support more powerful embedded board to satisfy the ever-growing performance demand. So from now on, our computer module will become higher data processing capability and the wider bandwidth connectivity to digest the class of data flow on the edge. 
and low latency response between NG2 device is also vital to provide stable service in the IoT ecosystem. In the meantime, remote management and full range performance offering will assist our customer to design, to deploy, and manage their system quickly and easily. So can you imagine what the innovative product will be? The standard design and long-term support are still the core value of computer on module. So just like Rex mentioned, we have been co-working with PICNG to come out the label up computer on module. So the Comage PC is coming. It's a brand new standard and to support breakthrough performance for the next decade. It will achieve five times memory capacity upgrade up to one terabyte. And it will have extreme data transfer rate with the new technology implement such as USB 4, PCI Express Gen 4, even to Gen 5. Moreover, it increases the PCI Express up to 65 lenses for better system scalability. It's so fantastic, right? Let's look over the online. The ComHPC will have two pinout types and five board size combinations. The smallest one will be 95 and 120 millimeter. The largest one will be 160 and 200 millimeter. In terms of pinout type, one of the pinouts is ComHPC client. It integrated CPU and graphic engine supports sufficient super speed I.O. interfaces. It's very suitable for high-end medical and machine vision applications. And the other one is ComHPC server type. It is headless, supports multi-core server grade processor, and more 10 gigabit Ethernet, more PCI Express expansion. This type is targeted to the network communication applications, especially for the 5G facilities. Now, you don't need to wait for a long time to see this model. Actually, the SOM8990 already under developing now. This is the first COM HPC server module. It was equipped with 16-core processor by the Intel Skylake D platform. And it supports eight pieces, loading memory slot. So the memory will up to 512 gigabytes. It also has four port 10 gigabit Ethernet controller and a 45 PCI Express extension. This is an early leakage. So all of you in this meeting room is very lucky because this is the first hand that you got worldwide. And we also have this model demonstrated in our booth. So don't miss it. Please come to look and feel it. And because this new standard specification is not finalized yet, so the detailed specification will be released in early 2020. So if this model meets your target, please always follow Advantech to get the up-to-date information. Then besides the uh, powerful server grid ma uh, computer on module, we also have small form factor smart with full range performance offering. Currently, we have the smart module with on-base IDAMX 8 platform module, uh, smart module available. And we also have Intel Atom 
E3900 smartphone available. In the future, we will also add the smart board with the Intel Core platform process, uh, performance as well. <coughs> so with the full range performance offering, our customer only needs to design one carrier board and they can get three different performance segments by only the configuration of smart board. So the design will become very simple. It will not only reduce our customer's developing cost, but also speed up time to market. After introducing so many high-end powerful computers on module, are you curious about how we deal with the thermal dissipation? Actually, the thermal module is always the important teammate to high-end embedded board. And for sure, we have it. The next, Nick will share with you our new technology, QFCS, that really pumps the weight. Yes, uh, thank you, Arendt. Well, we all know the high computing means you will generate more heat. But in the RT location, the RT device will be placed on anywhere. So how a good thermal solution should look like in IoT? And we believe it should have a three DNA. The first one is the high efficiency. It must have a very good ability to transfer heat from the CPU to the heat sink. And second, it must have a small dimension so that we can easily to install it into our system. And the last one is it must be quiet. The RT device will be placed on anywhere. So it could be in the hospital or in the library. So the device should have a very low noise. But however, the challenge for us is how to combine the three demands. So how to improve it? We start from the three ways, the heat flow, conduct, and the mechanism. We have a heat distribution for the heat component, not only for the CPU, but also for the memory or choke. And the heat sink design also must to be improved and optimized for a better airflow. The conduct. We drop the thermal pad design and replace it by the heat pipe and the best changing material. The best changing material is able to fill all the gaps between the CPU and the heat sink and able to provide a better performance than the thermal pad. And the last one is we change the thin material and use the two-stage spring screw designs. So it can be uh, able to uh, keep the performance and able to reduce the heat sink dimension. So here now we can see the simulation result after improvement. So ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce the QFTS technology, the Quadro Pro cooling system. The Quadro Pro cooling system achieves four targets. <coughs> it provides the high efficiency airflow by the three directions. It has a heat distribution ability up to 45 watt. So the processor is able to work on the 60 degrees C without throttling. And its height definition is only 20 mini, uh, 27 millimeter. And with the such high performance, its decibel is only 45 dB. And the quadro means used for technologies. The misfit design is able to increase the heat distribution space and able to improve the airflow exchange. The venting hole can cool down the memory's temperature and able to reduce weight more than 50%. And the hot conduct and the heat pipe design can provide a best performance on the heat distributions than other coolers. So the QFCS technology is able to support all of the standard form factors, from the computer module, single, a single board computer, to the embedded module. So it's a ready to use solution and it doesn't need to do the customization. So why is a good thermal solution in IoT? So Advantech is necessary to combine the three demands into the one heat sink, the Quadro Pro cooling system. And we have a heat sink demo on the uh, outside booth. 
and I welcome everyone to take a look. Okay, so we have uh, many products to support customers' demand in IoT. So far, we have uh, uh, industrial mobile board, common HPCs, smart, and QSCS. But there is another challenge for the IoT demands. In the IoT application, the most of requirement can be fulfilled by using the standard product. But however, it is impossible to use the standard product to support all the IoT demand. For example, some application may require uh, four Ethernet ports, but some others may require five com ports. So we need a smart and quick solution to fulfill this kind of different IoT demand. And we believe the modular IO extension is the best solution to help our customers to fulfill their different IO demand. The Amaro extension and the UR40 provides a standard for factors and IO extensions in the x axis and the risk. The Amaro and the UR are using a standard 3.5 and 2.5 inch SPC. So our customers can easily to design their churches and fit it into their existing system. And the R extension is designed for each different vertical market. So with the uh, rich SPC and R extension, our customers don't need to do the hard customization for their vertical market and able to focus on the, uh, their software development and have the domain focus. So it can really to, uh, help our customers to make their uh, time to market happen. And the IO extension is a compact SVC size, and the 4 to 4 combination has a many IO and interface support. So it can extend the USB 3, PCIe, and the R high speed interface. And most important thing is the all of MRE extension for each different vertical market are ready to use. For example, we have an extension module for a small market, it can support 6 URs. And we also have a surveillance module to support field, uh, four POE ports, so our customers can easily to set up their IP camera without uh, external power cord. So with the rich uh, SPC and our extensions, our customers can easily to choose their solutions by the three steps, and they don't need to worry about their highway conversion anymore. Okay. So now we are going to announce the high performance for the edge computing, the AMIO5393. The AMIO5393 has integrated the latest Intel Gen 9 processor, and the advanced interface can support a triple display with 4K code. And it also uh, supports high speed and data module, SSD, and able to survive in the minus 40 to 85 degrees C. So it's a perfect solution for the application, which requires the high performance and the ruggedized environment. And for the entry-level application, we also provide the UR40 Express. The UR40 Express is a 2.5-inch SBC, and it offers a various IO extension, as the same with MIOE, but it also provides an enclosure solution. So now we have uh, two SPC which use the rock chip and MSP solution. Three vertical IO boards and the two chassis are ready to use. And for the customer pain point, the ARM driver support in the Linux and the Android. It also has been included in the AI Linux and Android BSP. So the BSP has the uh, longevity support and has been verified to make sure all the functions are workable. And also, the wise pass and the device arm are available on the UR40. So with a simple five steps, our customers can easily to build out their own best system for their vertical market with a very high speed. And our first ISP3430 is ready. The 3430 has using the powerful uh, NSP Adam 6 processor and able to support the FedEx operating. This small but complete IO design can provide a lot of flexibility for our customers to fulfill their different IO demand. 
and the longevity BSP support can provide a reliable foundation for engineers to do their software development and the maintenance. So it's a, a perfect solution for the general purpose or entry level applications in IoT. Okay, uh, we already talked about the QFCS, the module extension, and MIO and the UR OT. To help our customers to monitor or to control their IoT device, the all of products in the main tag are supported wise pass and the device arm. So with an easy to use interface and the app support, it can provide and give our customers a transformational plug and play user experience. Thank you. Thank you.